Hey, what's going on guys? This is Apollo back at it again with another video and this time we are going to be showcasing how to do a simple animation in Source Filmmaker. Now this one is, like I said, going to be simple. I'm going to load up the model, I'm going to load up the map, and I'll guide you everything from there. So now we're in um, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza 2, or not Freddy Fazbear's Pizza 2, the FNAF 2 Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, ah, uh, errors, rip. Gonna have to like re-download the game and everything. Oh, Time Crisis. I love that game. Anyways, um, let's actually let's actually head to the stage right here. So now we're at the stage. Put in the model here. So let's see. Let's have Chica. Let's look for a good model of Chica here. So normally we have the bones right here. You can just pose them, do anything you want to them, high five, anything, anything and everything. But we're going to do something called rigging. Now you can head into community workshop. Go ahead and get into the community workshop here and type up source filmmaker. Boom. But in Source Filmmaker, you can see the recent items here. Now, you can just type up rig. The first thing that pops up is Red Eyes Uni Rig, which is the universal rig. This is recommended for many, many models that don't have their own rigs. Or you can go to SFM Labs and get yourself a auto rigger. That can all help you too. But for now, Let's just use the universal rig. So we're gonna head over here, head to rig. Let's see, universal rig three. <laughs> um, this was not supposed to happen. This was not supposed to happen at all. Um, is there. Okay, I guess we're gonna just gonna use the auto rigger. <laughs> okay. So you can get a simple auto rigger from. SFM Labs, see everything all good here. All you can do is just create script, done. So it should be good now. So let's go to rig here. Let's load rig script. It's gonna pop up this window here. Off to the side right here. And find the one that is for the model. Uh, we're gonna use another Chica. We're gonna use we're gonna use this Chica right here. This looks like a better Chica. Let's try the Universal Rig this time. Hey, the Universal Rig worked. Finally. Okay, as you can see, a lot of things changed. Uh, we got the Rig Root now. We got Rig Elbow, Rig Hand, and everything else. We also got Rig Neck, Rig Spine, Rig Pelvis, Rig Hips. And anything to just mess with the model right here. So now, we are going to animate this model right here. Okay, so this is, <laughs> this is quote unquote comfortable enough. So now, we are going to animate. We are going down to the timeline right here. And click on graph editor. The thing is the motion editor right here, but the graph editor is what I would recommend if you're going to be starting off. And now this graph editor, you can select anything. Let's see, select the spine right here. And now you can place down a bookmark. Or you can just do something to the model and it'll automatically create a bookmark. So we're going to put a bookmark right there. Let's just scroll the timeline blur right here. And then let's say, let's make her go back. You know, act like she's breathing. That's a thing. What we would do, let's play it back and motion is back and forth. Easy, right? That's easy for that, but if you're going to get into the more advanced stuff, you're going to have to have a lot more bookmarks, a lot more uh, time and attention to detail. Oh, wasn't supposed to do that. 
So let's say right here, she's breathing and you want to move the neck. So we can do that. Just place down a bookmark. Just go until she sort of stops breathing, kind of move the neck forward a bit as she's exhaling the neck back in the proper place. See? Pretty good, right? Now we can do mouth movements as well. Let's do the jaw. Have her like inhale, then exhale. Like so. It's actually pretty simple here. Well, the breathing part and the inhaling and exhaling. Let's move on to the eyes right here. So these eyes, you can do the same thing I did. And sometimes it would work, sometimes it won't. But if it does work, do this little tactic right here. So let's say while she's breathing, she's looking around. You know, she's a little bit observant of her surroundings. But something feels a little bit off about this. Now, let's actually see here. Let's use her eyelids. Now, we got the upper eyelids right here, which is what we're going to use. Same thing as the eyes. Click on both of them and use them. So while she's looking, you can add an extra bookmark right here so you can stay the same and move a little bit forward. Go down all the way if you want or just like partially closed. Go out a bit and back up. She blinks. Now she's going to blink again. Simple as that. Now, sometimes the bookmarks tend to be a little bit messy, as you see. So it's probably best to like go add bookmark, go to the original position, so I can straighten out. See, look right here, this curve right here. It always bugs me out whenever I add a new bookmark, because look, it moves on its own, and I just don't like it. So just add an extra bookmark, make it go to its original position. So it looks more natural, see? Now she's just breathing. Now let's make her spine move as well. Since, you know, she's looking. Let's have, make her move a little bit. Breathe a little bit more. It's pretty nice. A little bit slow, but a little bit fluid. Simple as that. We can also make her head turn. So let's do that. As she's going down. Take a look to the left. Back up. Take a look to the right. Now with the hands, you can also move them too. Let's see. 
like make them go up a bit. They can go back down. Simple as that. We'll get to a walking cycle later on in another tutorial. So this concludes our short, basic animation tutorial. Have a good one.